They need to start thinking about getting some kills inside a site. There's a good few defenders stacked up. Oh, Gomez! Good. Gomez with a big double! It snaps onto the heads there as well. It does not, though, with only two left standing. Rampy doing a bit of work from above, joined in by Fultz. Down to a three versus three. Boss goes on his backside, though. Another kill comes in, a 2v2 ensues. And just like that, Rampy and Fultz have dragged the team through what looked like a rough round. Four kills between the two of them. Bosco, a great smoke player, as we know, um, and in a oh. pos position to do some real damage. Now then, there's the aggression. Rampy is going to be taken down by Yoga. Just didn't see that push coming at all. Fultz and Yeti getting in on the action, but this is just going back and forth. But still in a spot where they've got a force in through bottlenecks here that can make things really difficult. And look at that hot and cold with the wonderful lineup onto almost two players. Fultz finds one. What a couple of rounds he's having so far. Down to a 2v2 as we come into the last 15. Hot and cold finds one. It's a 1v1 between him and the Blackbeard, and Diaz is hunting down his prey. The thing is, Diaz doesn't have Diffuser in hand at the minute, so it just gives um, another element for Hot and Cold to work on moving in here. I think he knows roughly where he is. Oh, Hot and Cold's going to win it out with the Vector, and that's two rounds now round on the quarter of the defensive rotation. Um, now, there's not much of a top floor presence. Fultz is going to get aggressive, but what a kill! Goes in and absolutely slams Spirit in control. Kino is going to pick up Rampy, levelling things up three versus three. 55 seconds left to go, so there's certainly time on the clock, but Diaz, he gets caught out, and so does Kino with a cap can trap. Crossfires galore set up onto the window, goes in. Frostbat and almost gets hot and cold. He was... A bit of information being swung back and forth between the two sides, but it should be M80 here who are able to go aggressive. It is SSG and hot and cold in particular who are looking to step forward and make it happen. Rampy's out the window, but Gomez, he's just better. Also having a phenomenal game as he hits the second onto hot and cold. Personally, a bigger fan of the Capcan traps only because as soon as you know there's one, you know there are four more potentially elsewhere around the map that you have to go and deal with. Yog with a nade coming in into full so Again, the player on the side of SSG that has started strong here. Here, Bosco swings wide, Spirits gets to an M80 finally get on the board. We don't want to break this down with lots of intricate utility. A shield should be enough for us. But right now, you've got Bosco just handing it to him. Hello? Can't finish him off yet. Finally gets the down as well, straight into the back corner. This is not stacking up well for M80. 15 seconds. Got to try and force their way to make a plan happen here. I think Spirits is really conscious of what could go wrong here if he tries to make a plan happen. He needs to get rid of this player, but can't do it. Gets the long range assist. There's the two kills that SSG were looking for. Kino left all alone. Now he's going to be taken out as an entry death and the kills continue but Kino and Yoga managed to get in around the side and level things up. Three versus three. Bosco playing tight on the window there. If they try to come in it's surely going to be a freebie. He goes actually aggressive. Can't find his man and that is going to be go. the final kills coming in M80. I appreciate the pace at which they've tried to move here and to make things happen quickly but they've done nothing to clear out yellow stairs to clear out the player that was hanging around 90 and here Kino <laughs> trying to get cheeky but Hot and Cold's got the answer in the form of a bullet. Down he goes, 4v4. And that leaves us now in a 3 versus 3. Diffusers going down, Des. They forced them up through split as well. They were too scared of the flashes and the pressure coming through. A C4 over the top could be enough. No. Great step away by Bosco and can now resume control. Hot and Cold's got one on the cross here. SSG have got a brilliant crossfire and set up. 15 seconds left and the plant goes down, 2v2. This is a desperate fight to the death inside a site now. He's got multiple options. They know where he's coming from. But all he needs to do, Des, is keep distracting them for long enough. He needs to make this difficult. Kill the cover. That's the one. Oh! no spirits on the shotgun will be the man. And if SSG can take it away, all of a sudden it starts looking good. But the diffuser gets dropped outside as Bosco is found by Kino out of the window. Even as now, four versus three, 20 seconds left to go. And the diffuser still needs to be delivered to the site. I was about to say crack Kino, but the only thing is crack now is down into the ground, the earth that he's buried oh! under. Rampy rounds for one more again. What a game he's having. SSG looking pretty good here. Diaz, the last one left standing. The real poster child for M80 here at SI. SSG definitely going to be outside of the windows, outside of the map, and waiting for the fight. But M80 does have lost almost every single head-to-head -head gunfight. He's been misdrawn there. They're not aware oh dear, oh dear. of his position. This is going to have to be damaging. Oh dear. It's going to be the Monty. Oh, now they know. Oh, they know. They've put oh, he's got one. Yoga's got one hot and cold on the trade, though. And that works out pretty well for SSG. Um, Diaz back there on the Wamai. Now then, Kino, big kill onto Bosco. And it's all starting to fall apart as Kino doubles down, finds himself another. And that's going to be a double in the middle of the round, leaving us now two versus four. Rampy comes in, though, gets one. This is still doable. Diffuser is going to start going down. But no, as Rampy is killed, that's going to be it. I don't see any 
any way that SSG come out on top of this, to be honest. There's too many angles for them to push into. Kino, he's going to find the first onto Hot and Cold. Ramp, he manages to get Gomez, four versus four. But there's no opportunity to get the diffuser down. Absolutely not a chance. They're going in. They're being just cut down as they step foot inside. Yoga Spirits getting one apiece. The majority of attacks so far have come in from the opposite side of the map. They're trying to catch M80 out, but they're not going to. They really have stepped up and taken this fight to SSG. Yeti, he's one versus four, one versus three. Can he find himself another? No, they dip into Cafe, and it is a matter of time. Nothing is working to get through the M80 blockade. Yeti working his way up yellow, isn't aware of the player to his left, gets shut down, falls is the last one left standing. I don't see him doing it, and neither did M80. They take theme park seven and five. 18 seconds left to go. This is going to be very late from SSG. Some really good read as well from M80. I feel like they plan for everything here and have a solution. Hot and cold in the spot to be able to challenge Kino with one with the shotgun, goes for a second, but no, the long distance spray down comes in. They're absolutely slaughtering SSG. SSG, you need to move in and start thinking about a plant. Yoga stood in the middle of sight. He's going to hold them off. He's going to be full white flash. No. Second kill's going either way. Two versus three as it shakes down. Two versus two. Oh, Where's that diffuser though? Bosco, he's going to be able to put it down. Out comes one impact. Out comes another, but it won't stop him. Two kills to be found. That's one. Oh! That's two. Unbelievable clutch from Kino. All he has to do is disable the activated diffuser. Fultz has been forced back out, and now Spirits, he does have the Monty to deal with, which won't be easy. He needs a little bit of support here, really. If they can get this kill, oh. that is fantastic. But no, Gomez oh, from underneath does great work. And it's likely that we're going to see that Nitro coming into play, that we're going to see Gomez on the Solis, That's making life difficult. The Thatcher EMPs to potentially deny any pre-place Nitro, but it's a little bit too late. Seven seconds left to go. They're going to have to rush this SSG. Gomez they need to start there. getting the diffuser down. It looks like the call has come to go for kills. Fultz in the last second is going to try to do it, but surely oh Gomez is able to deny. Hello, I was going to say, surely he finishes this off. It's going to have to be a real 3-2-1, and it looks like that's it, but it's not going to work out as Diaz steps up and no one manages else to find the kill onto Hot and Cold. So SSG, they're going to have to work from two angles at most, but dropping Kitchen Hatch without Dirt Tunnel is a difficult thing to do, and this is exactly why they're dropping into crossfires. There's kills left, right, and center for M80 at the minute rampy and he's just trying to find anything he can but it is over in round four for SSG Kino seals the deal it just feels like a brick wall again hot and cold is he gonna go for the plant he's got himself in behind the gym equipment but I'm just not sure that he's in position Des and he's not a spirits manages to find him that puts the fuser down inside a side and this is looking like another M80 round it could be flawless Des this is turning into an absolute nightmare for SSG SSG. It's not even close. I think Kino, the shield being taken away here. In comes Yeti. Got to win. Oh, Got to no. win. I mean, you had his backside and didn't manage to finish him off. Rampy gets the naked on the other side. But look, this is what I mean. The wall stays closed. Three players have to come in through a single window or doorway here. They are so restricted on options. There are 10 seconds to go. It looks to be another slaughter. You might, be, you might recall me about two minutes ago saying that Spirits on Garage Cowboy could be a real problem. And Spirits is able to just drop. He's going to start advancing from blue. M80 have got themselves inside, and this could be a problem. SSG can't really move too far here. As you can see, Spirit's holding it down, but no, SSG have responded. They've found a couple of kills. They put the diffuser down. I think they've got something pinged out here so they know what's going on. A bit of a nade to come through, so then let him get the Malusi without a swing coming in. Good response. Takes that away, which now means really, Gomez is somewhat invisible. Oh, if not for nade coming through, if it was cooked a bit better, it would have got a kill. Gomez finding faults. Finds a second as well. He's torn SSG apart. Three left standing, only two as Gomez has gone nuclear. A 10 and two, almost finds a next, but Rampy keeps it alive. It's looking like this could be the beginning of the end for SSG, but they're digging the heels there, but he's being forced back deep into logistics. There's an opportunity for M80 to think about getting the diffuser down, but they need to make it happen. Kino, he goes in and gets a kill onto Rampy, gets himself a second, and M80, they will win, they will progress in the lower bracket of SSG. 23 and that is a resounding 7-1 win against former world champions Space Station Gaming.